I want to do an update video on how things are going um, and some things that I ran into that you might run into as well. Um, once everything was assembled um, from the last video, I stuck it in the machine um, and these, uh, I already knew that these mirrors were going to be low. Um, my original idea was to put some spacers underneath the board to bring the whole thing up. Um, but what I found was that if I did that, then this back piece over here um, would butt into the laser, the laser tube housing um, and I would lose um, about an, an inch. Um, so what I did instead was I raised this mirror and reprinted this. Um, here's the old one. Um, it's much lower. I just raised this, so I raised these two because they sit outside of the housing so that there's plenty of room for them to go up. Um, and that way I, I uh, gain an extra inch or so. Um, also, uh, had to, uh, to put it into the machine, had to take off uh, this motor mount and this motor as well. Um, it's quite a snug fit. Um, so, yeah, it's no big deal. They're easy to pop back on once it's inside. Um, you can see I've got all the belts and stuff all, all hooked up. Um, it's relatively simple. Uh, let's see. They're zip tied here. Uh, I ended up, uh, this little thing is, is a great little gadget. Um, it was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, it just, it locks them down better, uh, tighter than you could ever do by hand. Uh, they're never going anywhere. Um, that and the, the teeth come together. So, yeah, no worries about that. Uh, what else did happen? Let's see. Uh, let's see, okay, I wired in the end stops. Um, of course, you know, it, everything's working now. Uh, I'm just trying to tell you what I, what I came up with. Um, when I did get it all wired up, uh, let's see, when I pressed the, the home button, um, Y worked fine. Y went back back to position uh, up here, um, but the motor for um, X was running the wrong way. Uh, it was trying to home over here, um, so that's a simple matter to fix. Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. Uh, let me see. Where did we go? There we go. So if we're looking at the these are the plugs for the stepper motors. Um, this is how it came with red, blue, green, black. Um, that Y was fine, so it stayed like that. Um, X, all I did was um, swap the blue and the red, and that will um, make your motor run the, the opposite direction. To, to remove the pins, it's super easy. I just used uh, these really sharp little tweezers here. And there's a little catch on the metal here. Um, you just press it down, and they'll they'll pull right out, and you just swap them. Um, so that was relatively easy. Um, we're going to put these back on now. So that one's X and Y. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but here's the, let me bring it over here. I use the, the cohesion board. Um, so it's relatively simple. Um, not using the original stepper that you would use if you're default from Decay 40. Um, I put them in here. Um, that's about it for there. Now the rest of the problems that I had, uh, I don't know how you solve it with um, the default board. Um, you know, I only know how, how to fix, sort it on the, the cohesion board. Uh, basically what was happening was, um, and, I'm, and I'm glad I got the control panel for the, the cohesion board, because uh, it allows me to um, jog everything. Uh, let me plug it in. And where'd that little bite go? There we go. Uh, the only thing connected on this panel, this is the old panel. Uh, the only thing connected is the, the uh, LED, LCD for the uh, cohesion board. 
but I was able to um, play around with it and figure out, you know, what uh, what stuff was what it needed to do. What it was doing um, first off was every time I moved it, I told it to move ten. Um, it would only move five. So basically, it was uh, the default settings inside the cohesion board. It was almost half of what it was. Um, and what that ended up being uh, is in the config file for the cohesion board, there's a alpha steps per millimeter and a beta steps per millimeter. Um, they were defaulted for the K40 at 157 point something. I can't remember what it was. Um, I ended up bringing it down to 80 point something. Um, it's, you know, you got to play with it. All I did was I just took a, um, the, the tape measure, taped it to the thing, to the board, and uh, taped the pencil onto here um, so that I had a pointer down here. And uh, you can see the line when I was doing it. Um, and just watching it and, and adjusting it. Now, it's kind of a pain in the butt because the way you update the, uh, the config file on the cohesion board is uh, with an SD card, so I had to keep taking it out and putting it in my computer, editing it, putting it back in the machine and trying it um, until I got it uh, um, super close. I think across 610 uh, millimeters, uh, I think I might be off by one millimeter, if, if that. Um, uh, um, on the Y direction, uh, there's no, no problems at all. Um, the other problem that I had um, was when, when it was over here and I would press home um, on through here, uh, it's, uh, well, it's, it's, everything's locked right now because the board's on, but on here, I can go here and home all access. Um, it would only come to here. If it was over here, it would, it would well, it would, it, only go, it would only go 500 millimeters. Uh, there's a setting in the config file that I found, um, and uh, it's uh, max, max travel, it's called. Uh, alpha, beta, max travel. Um, that's your homing setting. Um, I set that, I, I've got 610 uh, is what I ended up with. Um, so I set it for 612, so everything's fine from there. Uh, what else did I have to do? Uh, change the alpha and beta max to fit the new, new size. I, I have it set for 300. It actually stops short. I could probably go a little bit further. Um, but it's 300 by 610 is what I have. Uh, no problems. And um, the other problem that I had was everything was fine up in this area. Um, but once it started getting down over into this area, um, the stepper motors were having a hard time. Um, I went and looked that up, and that turned out to be um, the current was way too low. Um, I think um, alpha was set for a current of, uh, in the config file for cohesion was uh, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 for beta. Um, I increased them both to 1, um, and that solved all my problems. Um, steppers are not got lots of power. Um, they don't have any problem moving around, no more jerking, no more slipping. Um, that's great. So what I'm going to do now is uh, put on a, I'm going to put some paper on here, and attach a pen here, and we'll give it a shot. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I'll send it over from Lightburn. Uh, I'll be right back as soon as uh, I get that all set up and ready to go. All right. Um, I got a pen in. Um, of course, it's not mounted. It's just held in with some tape and some cardboard and um, stuff like that. So it's going to move a little bit, but you're going to get the general idea. It's, it's working. Um, it's not going to be perfect. Once I get the once I get the, the build into the machine and get the laser hooked back up, then I'll be able to dial it in even more. Um, but let's uh, plug it in and there. It's connected and go over to light burn and send the job. It's printing. This is a test of the laser. Um, it's set for cut mode, so you can see. Um,
there we go. Uh, it looks like it's working to me. So um, next step is to uh, put it in. I'm probably going to have to adjust um, this end stop here. Um, I might have to come out a little bit. I'm not sure. But once I find out exactly what the cutting area is, I'll be cutting out this entire area um, in here where the, the whole cutting surface, where the cutting area is, um, and then putting in an adjustable Z-bed um, with a, a stepper motor um, so I can control it from the board. Um, and it should, uh, should give me easily seven or eight inches of play up and down um, with the way I have my cabinet designed. So um, then once that happens, um, we'll be moving on to building some rotaries. Um, I'm looking forward to that, um, but I needed to get this part done first. So anyway, just a quick update video. Um, uh, once I uh, get it all back into the machine and get it all wired up and, and the laser connected, um, I'll do the next video and show you how I did it and what I did. Uh, anyway, take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.